illustrious league. Please now explain yourself and apologize. <laughs> well, first of all, I'd like to say thank you to Bill for hosting this once again. I'll clap. I'll clap. I want to say congratulations to uh, Brian for winning last year. Great season. <clears throat> Why do they call it oval team? The mug's round. The jar's round. They should call it round team. <laughs> oh, wait. This ain't, that ain't great speech. Well, yeah, this is... <clears throat> Dear Marty, if my calculations are correct, you'll receive this letter immediately after you saw the DeLorean struck by lightning. First, let me assure you that I'm alive and well and have been living these happy past eight months in the year 1885. Wait a second. Where are you getting all this mail from? Set this down there. First and foremost, I would like to apologize to all my fans around the world, especially the kids that came out to every game. We know this disgrace of a season was hard for you to watch and get behind, and for that we are truly sorry. <laughs> Secondly, I would like to apologize to all the teams in this league who had to witness this dumpster fire of a team, <laughs> the likes of which have not been seen since the Ottawa Senators last took the ice. <laughs> <laughs> Although we ended the season in last place by just one point with the surprise that there was no consolation bracket, which I believe was a closed door payoff deal. <laughs> it's <laughs> no excuse for how poorly we performed throughout the season, and we have no one to blame but ourselves. <clears throat> I know this last, over the last several months of the 2018 2019 season, my team has lost a lot of things, and one of them has been our smile. <laughs> During the off season, and after a lot of soul searching and firing all my players, I found that smile again. <laughs> Corporate ministry has set out not only to rise from the gutter, but will rise to the top contender and be a threat from this day forward. <clears throat> now let me tell you guys something that you probably already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. <laughs> it's a very mean and nasty place. I don't care how tough you are, you will get beat down to your knees and they'll keep beating you down. You mean nobody's gonna get hit as hard as life. But it ain't all about how hard you get hit. It's about how hard you get hit and keep moving. <laughs> Corporate ministry has soared with the eagles and slittered with the snakes, and I've been everywhere in between. And I'm gonna tell you something right now. There's one guarantee in life, and that there are no guarantees. <laughs> and understand this, nobody likes a quitter. No one said life is easy, and if you get knocked down, take the standing eight count, get back up, and fight again. The corporate ministry will not go quietly into the night. We will not vanish without a fight. We are going to live on. We are going to survive, because today we celebrate Deck Draft Day. Hey. And remember, be excellent to each other. Be excellent. <laughs> yes.